All right, guys, next eBay break, we're doing another super break, Pieces of the Past Historical. So this is kind of one of those random breaks. It's not, not necessarily sports-related, um, but you've got some of the, the greatest relics and even signatures uh, in U.S. and American history. So it's a last name letter break. If it's, if it's a person, it's going to be their last name. If it is um, a place or an event or something like that, it's, it's based on where it's found in the encyclopedia. So this should be a lot of fun, a lot of one-on-ones in this as well. And this is a brand new case, so chance to pull cut signatures and some other things and redemptions for uh, autographed memorabilia like Mickey Mantle, autographed baseball, and some other things too. So let's see what we get. So Alan M., you've got last name letters B, C, D, E, G, H, I, O, U, J, L, and P. Uh, Chris, you've got last name S., David's got F as in Frank, N, V, and Y. James, you've got A and M as in Mary. And then Sean, you've got K, R, T, W, and Z. It's a heavy box, too. Probably two. Yep, we've got two, two cards in this one. All right, first up, got a nice one of one. Dude, how about a John Wayne? Little icon, newspaper, from 1939, the movie Stagecoach. So last name W, that'll be Sean. Nice one there. Dang, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Dude, you've got a Joe DiMaggio jersey relic, one of one. So much for no sports. Got to get this thing to focus, man. Let's see what this is. Vintage Yankees pennant relic. I think you can go to their website and get more information about it. So I don't know if that means they just pulled it off some random pennant in some kid's <laughs> some kid's bedroom, or if it's a pennant that Joe DiMaggio owned. I have no idea. But that's going to be last name D, which will be Allen. It's still a Joe DiMaggio one of one relic. That's pretty cool. All right, so nice break. Two one-of-ones out of there. Can't beat that. So we'll drop those cards in the mail tomorrow and uh, another break of this coming up here in the next couple weeks.